What up, y'all? It's Sunday. This video is late. I wish I could have done it live when I was at the stadium at practice today, but my phone was dead, so I couldn't do shit. But um, a lot to see. Like I like how I don't even have to look at the articles to know what happened and what's going on. So um, for one, our corners they're not very good at pressing. I was watching it. They're not very good. Um, I'm a little concerned. Um, wide receivers look great. Um, all of them. Um, who is it? David Watford didn't very, really have a good day today. But um, Alshon, he didn't. He didn't really do much either. Uh, but Tori had a nice uh, deep ball catch. Um, Jordan Matthews, he had some targets, he had some catches, so just because Alshon and Tori are here, don't think that Jordan Matthews isn't going to get his targets, because he is. Oh, and let me address this shit right now. There is no fucking way I am trading away Jordan Matthews because Nelson Aguilar is having a good spring and summer. Y'all need to stop with the fucking bullshit. That is crazy talk. First of all, Nelson Aguilar, just because he's having a good spring and summer, that doesn't mean that he's just automatically going to get you 800 yards this season. Why? Because that's what Jordan Matthews has done every fucking year he's been in the league. Every fucking year he's gotten at least 800 yards. Nelson Aguilar, I want him to get 600. Get 600, 40 receptions, and three or four touchdowns. I mean, can you do that? Can you do that? Because I, I want him to do this in the regular season against starters. Yes, he was always great at route running, but he can't catch the fucking ball. Well, now apparently he can. So he can stay the fourth wide receiver until he can prove that he can do it on a fucking consistent basis. I need you to catch the ball regularly. Fuck all the drops. Although he did have a, a lot of nice catches today. Like, I'm a little more confident because he's not catching with his body. He's catching with his hands. And that's a complete difference from before. Because before, it was just a catching against the body. It bounces off the bullshit. So, um, I, I digress, though. We're not going to get into that. We're, we're hoping that the young man can prove himself and um, can make some big plays this year. Because we're going to need it. Uh, running backs, Smallwood, man. I've been saying this since last season. Give the boy some reps. He's got burst. He's got speed. He's stronger. Running with some authority. He's going to punish some people this year. And I feel like he could overtake Blunt, like, in getting most of the reps. Because you don't want 31-year-old LeGarrette Blunt to be running the ball 200, 250 times a year. Like, that's not what you want. You want your fifth-round pick to improve so much that he becomes a regular starter. And LeGarrette and Darren are kind of like, you know, getting the same amount of reps. So, I think Smallwood should get a lot of reps this year. Um, I can't wait to see him in uh, preseason. That's going to be great. Um, who's not excited for preseason? Like, to see our young guys play? The corners? Oh, Rasul Douglas. He had two picks today. Um... It was good. It was good. Uh, he stuck with his wide receivers. Um, he did. He got burnt like a couple times, but a lot of people got burnt. Patrick Robinson, I think he had uh, like one pass breakup. But, oh, he tackled Ertz after Ertz caught the ball. Ertz had some nice catches today, too. Like, he's ready. He's ready. If you didn't pick up Ertz in your fantasy league, you should. Uh, because he's definitely ready. So I'm driving in Philly and motherfuckers want to be double parking and shit. Well, I don't like driving up here. But, uh, Carson Wentz looking great, looking sharp. He had a, a, a couple passes. I was like, mm, mm, don't do that, bro. Um, you, you don't want to do that. Like, ever again. Um, Matt McGloin sucks ass. Dane Evans has a really strong arm, like, he throws a good ball. Um, Folsey, I would like to see you on the field at some point. Um, yeah. 
enough for him. But um, Brian Dawkins got a good uh, round of applause. Darren Sproles, when he came out. Uh, Carson Wentz, everybody was like, woo-hoo! They was cheering his ass off. Um, overall, I think it was a good practice. Um, I definitely like seeing the corners work and the wide receivers. The wide receivers are catching very well. Like, it's totally different from last year. Last year was horrendous. Like, what the fuck? Just catch the ball, you know? But, um, tight ends looking good. Billy Brown, that boy can catch. He can catch. Uh, what else? I feel like I missed some. Oh. The offensive line is is um, held up really well against the D, the D line today. I was looking at some of those backups. Number 78 sucks. He got rolled on the ground like two, three times um, by Taylor Hart. No, like, really? Um, what else? Yeah, the, the defensive line, the starters, they look good. The backups... I hope those third stringers don't really make the team because they're not that strong. Um, the defensive tackles, they're pretty good. So, I, I, that D-line is going to be very good, though. Um, and they have to be because our corners are going to need help. Douglas will definitely catch on. Um, he may have some up and downs in the beginning of the year, but he looks really he looks good. He looks like he's learning. Um, he's making plays this this uh, practice, he wasn't really making that many uh, last practice. But I love seeing him get picks. That's the important part. If he's doing it in practice, he can do it in the game. Take notes, Aguilar. So, um, I can't wait for preseason. It's, it's going to be great. And I can't wait for the games to begin. It's That's going to be fucking even, even better. <sighs> if you're not excited as an Eagles fan for this season... I don't know what's wrong with you. You're not an Eagles fan. So, and for all you fucking haters, um, fuck you. I don't give a fuck. Uh, comment what you want. It's YouTube. This is free. I don't care. Um, I don't do this because I want people to like me. And, you know, everything ain't for everybody. So, fuck off. Get a life. Burgang out, bitch.